Last month was Alcohol Awareness Month, but it's always important to think about substance abuse. AdCare Hospitals committed itself to helping individuals and their families cope with addiction one life at a time. And here to tell us more about the services that they offer are Cora Chase and Annie Park. Thank you ladies so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So it might be May, but it's imperative that we always think about substance abuse year round because it really is a detrimental problem. And AdCare, you've been around for about 35 years. Tell us a little bit about some of the services that you offer. We provide um, intensive outpatient programs, which are educational and skill building, which are five days a week. We have a day and an evening program. We provide early recovery groups, which are for an hour and a half, which reinforce the skills that people learn in the intensive outpatient programs. And we have five of those during the week. We have individual and um, family counseling as well, because we know that this is not just the individual's disease, but it's also a family disease. Well, and it absolutely affects the whole family. Mm -hmm. So if there are families watching now, or maybe there's someone uh, themselves who might be taking part in some at-risk behavior, what are some behaviors that you help to modify at AdCare? We, we, um, we educate the client and the family on um, just a number of issues, be it alcohol abuse, substance abuse, tobacco abuse. You know, if, if people are troubled, they can come and you can help them out. Yes. Now, what are some of the signs of an addiction? Let's say we're at home and, and we're noticing something with a friend or relative. What are some of the signs that people might be suffering from an addiction of sorts? There can be um, mood swings. There can be financial unmanageability. There can be isolation, depression. Many of the symptoms can overlap and look like other things um, disappearing, um, loss of job, going in late to jobs. You know, it's just it's a variety of different things for each person. The progress of it, the process of addiction for everyone can be different. It's like a fingerprint. Everyone's battle and everyone's journey is different with addiction. True. Some can be quicker, some can be slower. The bottom line is that they all become unmanageable and can be life-threatening to all people involved. And at AdCare, you aim to rectify all that. Take us through the process. So I, I would infer that someone who has a problem or someone's family uh, brings someone in. And then what happens from there? What's the process like? We would have somebody sit down with one of our clinicians and we would gather some information and together with the patient we would determine what would be the best level of care. We have to remember that not everybody is necessarily willing to stop using but what we try to do is work with them to recognize the scope of their problem and hopefully get them to the point where they're willing to stop using. Um, not everybody is willing to go necessarily to the level of care we think might be best for them but we try to get them engaged in some kind of treatment. Well, that's the thing. You can't necessarily stop someone from doing anything, but you certainly try. Now, I know one of the things that you value very highly is your staff, because I can only infer that trying to get clean, trying to rectify some of your bad behavior is difficult and, and sometimes near impossible, but when you have a staff like you do, it makes it a little bit easier. Yes. Yeah, our staff is very, very dedicated to our patients. Um, they work very hard to teach the patients to work with the families, to provide good role modeling, to encourage them to use community supports, as well as the supports that we provide in the office. Now your location's in West Springfield. Tell us a little bit about how people can get there and moreover, what services you provide at that specific office. We are just over the North End Bridge, um, right off of Route 20, so people can easily drive there. We're right on the bus route. We do provide bus tickets for people that can't afford them. We don't provide transportation per se. However, we do provide transportation to the Worcester Hospital for those people who are seeking inpatient admission to the detox, and that, then that might be followed by the rehabilitation. And we provide transportation home after their care there has ended. So you have offices both in West Springfield and in Worcester. You do a few different things at each office, but Worcester isn't that far away. And what are some of the, of the services that you provide at that branch? Worcester is the main hospital which does the detox 
detoxification and from the substances and then they have a rehabilitation unit that follows after detox has ended. Now ladies, if someone out there who's watching, maybe they are having some substance abuse problems or if there's a family member that's watching and, and the light bulb's going off in them right now saying, wow, my uncle, my cousin, my friend might have some of these symptoms that we were talking about earlier. How can they get help from AdCare? Where can they go? The hospital in Worcester, they can just call 1-800-ALCOHOL. For our office, it's 413-209-3124. And as always, they can check you out online, adcare.com. Correct, yes. Well, ladies, I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here, and addiction is something that's very, very tough to overcome, so I want to thank you for having a service that can help people try to overcome those addictions. Thank you thank for, having, you for us. having us. So if you want to learn more about the AdCare Hospital and the services that they offer, once again, call them, 413-209-3124, or you can visit them at adcare.com.